Alright guys, let's get started. Now uh, with the Twilio step from configuration to TwiCX. This is a brand new account in Twilio that I just created for the purpose of this video. So let's start by searching Elastic Subtrunk in this account, which will take me to a dashboard for our uh, creation of Subtrunk. Alright, so let's create a new one, give it a name. Okay, so on this front page, we will leave uh, everything out to this for the time being. And that in the termination, uh, we have to create a URL link, which we can use anything, but uh, it's better to use a business name. So we will use Invictus here. And then we have to add an IP access uh, control list here, which will be the IP address for our 36 form system. So we get this IP address, we need to go back to the dashboard in 3CX and we have to find this IP address which is in use on 3CX. Alright, the next thing is to add the credentials list. So that would be your Sepcrunk uh, login credentials. You can use anything. Hmm. Admin, maybe admin, admin, or admin password, whatever you prefer. Just create the login here. Save it. And the next step would be to go to the next page. Let's save it and then move to the next page, which is origination URL. So that would be the uh, same IP address of 3CX to copy that information again from there go back to Twilio and add the the, orig uh, the origination URL here and there are some options to you'll see name and that stuff so you can just ignore that for the moment we get this a very basic uh, septron configuration so the next step is to add a new number and if for some reason the number is not coming in here so let me try another way. Let me try to buy, buy a new number. Yeah, it's a test account, so it will not allow me to buy multiple numbers in this account for the time moment. Yeah, but there is another way to do this. We have to go to the, the number and then under the active numbers we can assign a zip trunk data as well Alright guys, let's change to now, now to that step trunk. And now we can also see that number when we go to step trunk. We will see that number listed in there. Let's just verify that. Yeah. So the number is there, it's assigned to the correct zip trunk now. Let's go back to the uh, 3CX and we will add a new zip trunk here. We need to search for the worldwide to look for Twilio. Uh, so in the worldwide, we'll search Twilio and then we will add the main one number. You can copy this from Twilio. Alright, uh, the next thing is that the same URL that we just created in, uh, in Twilio. So we'll put the same information in here which is invictus.psdn okay then we can use the sorry yeah we, we, we need we don't need to use this one we can use an 
no authentication needed, just IP based. But still, it's better if you can just put in the information because sometimes it needs authentication for username and password as well. Alright guys, that's all. Thank you very much for uh, watching the video. If you like it, please uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, just drop your comments and I will be more than happy to help you out. Thank you.